right, we are ready to rock and roll. Okay, ooh, I'm freezing, so I'm gonna explain to you what's happening. What's terrifying? Oh, who did that? That's so cool. I love it. Gabby loves it. That's a, that's a skinny, is that a skinny? Yeah. That's a skinny. So Sophie refused to jump in her last lesson and then she had to get off her horse. That's the rules. What was the lesson that you refused? What was the thing you refused to do? Um, pull in front of the jump. What? Pull in front of the jump. A pole in front of the jump. Or Gabby, are you actually gonna keep that blanket on the whole time? Not the whole time. I'm only walking with it on. It's the Finn is resisting. I've never seen Finn like be so resistive actually. Yeah. Gabby's like, look at this, look at the deer. Storm? And Storm's like, no, no thanks. I don't really care for deers. Look at him, he's like, there's a deer in the forest. Oh, Hi, deer. Don't scare him. No, I want it. Gone. Hey, where are the other horses? Aren't there horses in this field? Uh, they have the old field, too. Like, they have another field to the side. Well, surround rails to the right side. So they're all on the right side. He looks young. He's trying to be a horse. Go, hmm. deer. Go! It's just Gabby. She thinks she owns the world. You just stay there and eat your Go. lunch. All right, so my point that I was making earlier was that Sophie refused a lesson, but Sophie, we talked about it after, and she said, you know, I'm really sorry that I refused it. I was scared, but I know that I can work on it. So this is what she does do. What the heck? This is not how this world works, dude. Come on, here, let me walk him through it. Let me walk him through it. All right, this has been super dramatic. Gabby, Sophie, and Finn are not getting along. Wait, Sophie was convinced that somebody was riding her saddle because the stirrups were like five holes down from what she usually used. I them back after him. And Ga Gabby rode last. Gabby rode him last. I think we've re regained the peace now. Like, this was so dramatic. Sophie was jumping up and down, like I swear, when she eats it. So when you stop eating sugar, sometimes it makes your body use your food more efficiently. I swear she had a grilled cheese before we left, and then she was so crazy hyper, and I swear she just crashed. No sugar, just grilled cheese, but holy heck. And then, real cheese. Yeah, real cheese. Abby has uh, confiscated my sweater. That's my favorite sweater. This is the first ride back since the whole chiropractor he'd be looking a little bit better i think he looks good slow yourself down sophie talk go rise slow oh my gosh when they both come to me it's terrifying i think he does seem a little better his pelvis was out and finn's neck was out shoulders were out which his shoulders are never out yeah it was his pelvis and chino was his neck Gabby said, I think his left side of his neck is out, and it was. Riding storm hack is to wiggle her legs and make them, see when she starts to wiggle her legs, he speeds up. That's because her leg on his stomach needs to have slow motion Yeah, he hasn't quite got that we want him to change that yet. So she has to do this for a little while, that's to tell him to go. I almost feel like Finn is remembering that it was hurting him the last few rides. And so I feel like he's kind of acting like that. We're so dysfunctional, but still inseparable. Yeah, we just never get it right. You're playing games with me, me and my I need a little stool for out here. You have a mounting block. I have to go sit on the mounting block. So I feel like Storm is feeling fresh. Feeling good, feeling great. Forward, yeah. Quarter line and a quarter horse. We're fresh. So all my riding career, like all of our horsey adventures, I know quarter horses. Quarter horses are like the biggest thing around here. Like everybody wants a quarter horse around here, but having Penny is such a different thing. Like the different breeds are so massively different. But not enough to say goodbye.
feel like we have taken a couple steps back somehow. Like, I don't know how, but Sophie, the bit change has really set her back. I think it's okay because she's still happy with it, but I definitely think that the bit change set her back. I want to teach my girl commands. She's really good. She's really smart like that. She already knows a bunch of commands. If you call her name when she's fighting with another horse, like arguing with another horse, she will stop. Ooh. Tell me when you're warmed up and I'll set up the jump so we can practice. Okay? All right, so should I do it now? He did so well that time. You did so good, Stormy. All right, you guys, you guys are gonna see it here today. Sophie's going to challenge herself and beat her fears again for the hundredth time this month. So she's gonna go over it first a couple of times. You can even get on the storm to do it. Good boy. So here we go again with silly arguments that always end up in a fight. nobody's moving very well all right so the thing that was scary to Sophie was that there was a jump rate a pole just in front of the jump and she was afraid Finn was gonna jump them both so we're going to put a, a pole and we're gonna slowly move it closer Sophie likes to walk over everything first that'd be the same not gonna lie oh buddy you're actually working there we go right so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it, this is where it is now. I'm going to move it one step further. One step further. One step closer. I think the martingale is not working. That's what I think is wrong. Yeah. Is it work yes. Yes. He can't ride in that anymore. So that's what I'm seeing. I keep seeing something. He's not able to move fluently. Yeah, there's something wrong. I can see should be able to not but, put their head up fully, but put their head up more than that. So she changed her girth, and that martingale does not sit properly with that girth. See, he can't, he can't, he can't do it. Like, well, I'm keeping the martingale on. Yes, you can keep it on. We'll go out and buy a new girth. I feel bad for him. Okay, so we're up three four steps we're gonna go up two more okay right here we're getting closer all right before we can come and ride this horse again because i think this has been happening for a week now we have to get him a new girth or a bigger martingale no a new girth that martingale fits storm there's nothing wrong with it or you could just make the martingale bigger 150 percent this is why finn was out in his shoulders 150 percent like I could see everything, like ever since they switched girths, I could see there was a problem and I couldn't figure out what it is. But he just went over the jump one way and I could tell he, he couldn't get over it properly because he can't move his neck. So basically, Gab Sophie's been using this girth all along, it's Gabby's, and the martingale fit perfectly with it. Now Storm can't wear his girth because it's too stretched out. So... Um, Chino and Stella, but Stella mainly stretched it. Yeah. It works too. better. Yeah, you can put his head up higher. That's how high you can put it. All right, so. My teeth were resting on my hand. All right, so we're Hold gonna on. still get him a new one. Two steps closer. It really sucks that it takes like time to figure out things. All right, the pole's going closer. That's good. There's no way he'll try and jump that. Leg. All right. A little bit better. There we go. But he doesn't need a bigger size. 
supplies. He needs uh, one that, that has a clip. He's stretching, you guys. Her horse is stretching. She's so excited. <laughs> She's so excited. There we go. Oh boy. Oh, I'm so mad at myself that I didn't realize what was happening. I can already see a difference. Gabby just loosened it a tiny bit. Okay, last one. I'm putting it closer. It has to go closer every step now. Was it that close? Falling to pieces, falling to pieces. Oh, 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 oh. to pieces. All right, so now the next step is to get her to going over the pole as vertical. We start out slow again. She needs to see Gabby do it. Like we all have different ways of learning. This is hers. Let me tell you, when they're helping me tomorrow. All right, you're up. Can I walk over the vertical first? So yeah, go ahead. Oh boy. That's too high to walk over. There you go. This is like studying for a test. Last one, I'm going to raise the vertical a tiny bit. One hole. Man, I still feel so bad that I didn't catch that martingale issue. We need to get one with a clip, but actually I just know that we can add a clip. We've done it before. Remember the little... That's because it had a spot to clip it to. Oh, and then... That one has no spot. Oh. It's just a girth. Mine has a really nice clip on it. My stuff. Like my right, this is it, 18 inches. Raise that jump. Right, so we're still down at, we're still at 18 inches about. Higher After you do it, put it up to This is it, this is the one, this is the money shot. This is a money jump. So we ride three days a week, so I feel like Gabby should ride both horses next time and then Chino in the lesson. Just walk, trot, canter. No. Let him go so he gets momentum. Good job. <laughs> ben doesn't even look like a Palomino today. Perfect. The, the problem is, I think he's ready for a show. But he's like good, you ride him today and then don't ride him again to the show and then he'll be good. That's a jump. This is a perfect thin place pole. Yeah. One more week until no, ver no stir up November. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're getting it. Even if you go, all the shows will be over. You're going back. Even if you go backwards, you're doing it. All right, this is two feet, you guys. You think Sophie will do it? She was gonna, and then she saw it, and she's like, nah. I think we need to get the martingale figured out first. All right, so this is two six. This is Gabby's dream, dream jump. I think we're doing two six. At Trillium. Don't you know